A good understanding of the content area and a detailed lesson plan are important components of a successful lesson. The next two videos will follow the process of writing a lesson plan. The first two lines of the template are self-explanatory. One thing to note, the more detailed you are with your materials, the easier it will be to be physically prepared for the lesson period. The next section should look familiar. Here we have the objective written clearly with all three components indicated. While exploring sound and hands on observation stations, the students will recognize and discuss how vibrations create wave-like disturbances and record discoveries on an anticipation guide. Next to the objective is where you will include your assessments. Because this lesson is the first of the chapter and unit, the assessments are formative. They will serve as a way to observe what learning is taking place and what learning still needs to occur. The standards section is important as it should derive the instruction. Be sure to indicate the number as well as the written objective. Having specific vocabulary goals is key to building academic language. Be as specific as possible by including both the word and definition. This focuses your teaching and it really helps in developing students' understanding. The essential questions section is another way of ensuring in advance the rigor of your lesson. At the end of your lesson, students should be able to answer the questions with confidence. Indicate the level of Bloom's taxonomy that matches your question. The background knowledge to the right is a great way to think through important concepts necessary to be successful in this lesson. The Universal Design for Learning section requires you to think about diversifying instruction to meet the needs of all learners. Consult materials given to you by your instructor to ensure you are planning varied ways of presenting information and providing modes of both student expression and engagement. The Modifications menu is a great reminder of different ways to make the lesson more accessible to students with different learning needs. The Reflections portion of this template is important because it gives you the opportunity to reflect on the lesson. You will want to explore key parts of the lesson by considering high points as well as anything that needs a change or tweak for next time. Any other parts of the lesson that made an impact could be included as well. It is up to you.